Today's topic is near and dear to my heart. The topic comes up all the time with my clients, whether they choose to use feng shui or not. So what's the hot topic? Stuff. It's summer here in New York City, and don't you want to just feel lighter? Don't you feel like you sometimes have stuff coming out of your ears? I sure do. After this past year and a half, the walls may feel like they're closing in. So if you want some tips to help you let go of your stuff, keep watching. Susan Chan here, Feng Shui Realtor based in New York City. I know I'm guilty of it, just having too much stuff, and I'm a Feng Shui consultant. Clothes and tchotchkes, the strange vase that a family member gave me, but I feel guilty about getting rid of. I know you've all heard about Marie Kondo's method of letting go. Ask yourself, does that thing bring you joy? If not, toss it, right? It's not always that easy. I absolutely agree with Marie's method and like to take it one step further because we can convince ourselves that it may bring us joy later and that it creeps right back onto the shelf. So ask yourself one more question. Does this thing represent who I am and the life I wanna have? It's simple, but a powerful question. Feng Shui is all about intention and that one question could change everything. You get to design your energy, your life, and your future. When you let go of what no longer serves you, incredible things will start to come in. So what are you ready to let go of? My challenge to you, just let go of that one thing today and then tell us how you feel. I hope today's video of asking yourself that one important question will help you feel lighter, brighter, and attract awesome things into your life. Did you like this video? Please share with your friends, subscribe, or leave a comment or question below. And remember, feng shui is not a luxury, but a necessity. Tune in next month for more Feng Shui real estate tips.